It's the Lincoln Panda Show. Man, roll the clip. Get me now, homie. Yeah, I got to mean no shine. Now you mad at me waiting with a big old nine. Talk about you killing me and you mean no rhymes. But I've been outside waiting and ain't seen no crime. Me and Paper Chase got the block on fire. No, cut your face. I thought you out at the bar. You know we seen the tape. Now you winning that thugging while you smoking bass. You talking to the case. I'm a mean old man. I'm a mean old man. I'm a mean old man. A baloney turns down. Get his bag. This is his trash. I see if it was dope. I see if it was dope. Because I'm, I'm a nigga like that today. Yo. He said some dope shit. You didn't like any of it? That was the end of the whole thing? No, no, no. I'm saying you didn't like any of his part? He's just make. He's, make he's, he's trying to be somebody he's not. You can tell. Just me, no man. Oh. And he's losing his swag, too, because before he had a little, little mm-hmm. swag with his musical talent, like with the singing thing, he know how to flip words a little better. I heard him rhyme better than that. Right. That so, like, the, the, the whole thing of, like... And for him, and for him not to sing, you got 200 niggas rapping. What are you doing? Well, he had a little Another melody scene. on the second four ball. I mean, on the four... The he four. had a melody of the balls in his mouth. He, they had no <laughs> melodies, nigga. He's supposed to sing. He's supposed to go. Oh, uh, 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 uh. He's supposed to do that. Well, why do you think that he decided to do it on this specific song? Just nonstop slapped him with a cock. I, I was I was surprised. Were you surprised when you you saw it? I never. Uh, I seen just this part, but that shit was just trash. It was just like to me, it was like, look at this figure. Like I know, but were you surprised that he decided to go at you though? Oh, I mean, if you want, let him come out the closet. I need, I need niggas like that come out the closet. I, well, I, I like that he, he tried to come back. I mean, like, come on, man, he doesn't stand a chance. Fuck around. I know. We, we, I'm gonna take a little bit of that, like a month, a month, a month of vocal vocal coaching. I, I beat him in singing. <laughs> What up? We know that in the Is battle, it, obviously he couldn't take you, but I'm just saying. Oh that, my like, God! Stop being like that, dude. You're too gay right there with that boy. He couldn't battle. It's not about that. It's just about artists. He's a singer, right? He's a singer. Yeah, he used to dibble dabble with the, with the rhymes. Well, he's rapped before. He dibbled and dabbled with the rhymes, but he's not a better. Oh, he when he dissed you on shots fired, oh, right? He was rapping keep on off that off one. That. Can I stick to one diss at a time? Let me do this, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, let me right? th- like, let me break it down. Break it down. He's a fine, he's a singer. Fine. He's a singer, right? So a singer, uh, that's his main talent, singing, right? He started to move into a lane where it's, you know rock, rock with the boys, show their stuff, so that he could do it. And he's not better in rapping than singing. You understand? So right. it doesn't look good. It's not a good look for him, especially to be. Uh, bombarded by 200 other MCs and he's not better than you know the the the, the, the lowest quality MC there you know what I'm saying uh, to me you know what I'm saying because that's not his field if you're gonna do that like, blow, blow this shit apart like I told you when I stepped on off the books with eight bars I, I set my mark like niggas remember my, my, my you know fly pelican fly those are the type of qualities that I'm looking for he's a singer he could have did so much stuff he would have if I would have been, you know what I'm saying, somebody that was giving him advice to go on that song, it was just to, to just over, like, like overdo it, almost. I would have probably told a nigga, do do some shit in the, in the novel shit where you do, like, eight bars rhyming and eight bars singing. So you show both case of your, your talent and do something creative and genuine. You know what I'm saying? That shit looked like... Yeah, but they're not going to give him 16 bars, though. When it's undeniable, it's undeniable. They gave niggas 16 <laughs> bars there. They gave, uh, in the beginning, they gave somebody 16 bars. Who they gave uh, 16 bars? No, they, everybody was rapping only well, eight bars. Well, some niggas sounded like they was doing 16 bars. That's how long I seen, like, they, they, right. maybe they was rapping a little slow. But, uh, okay, so anyway, it would I could have did it with this. eight bars. You could, you could do uh, the rapping and singing with eight bars. My nigga, you could. Let, let, me, let me ask you this, okay? I'm not hating. So, I'm not hating. It's just, that's trash. That's trash. <laughs> that, that gay voice he has. It's for a reason. It's for him to sing. In the mean old shine. Mean old shine. Talking about you killing me. Mean old rhymes. It's just not him. It's not, been outside and it's I just not no popping. It's just not popping. It's not good. You know what I'm saying? And it's not because no hate at all. It's just if he was dope, I would say he killed it. You know, he did good. I would say that at least. But he didn't even do good. He's really like the garbage. Trash. So 
Why is why is uh him and other people trying to push the narrative that you know who cut your face? Because that's what he said. How the like, fuck do you, you know get from Georgia your... to cut my face? Right now? That's what he said in the song. That's what he said in the bars. We're, we're gonna do an interview. We're gonna do 73, 73 stitches. Seventy three is deep. How was that? So we could we could <laughs> go over the fucking cutting the face part of me. You know what's what you want to know? Seventy three stitches I got. So we could do that. But over here I'm we're talking about like, talent right here. This is talent, right? So we're talking about talent. I'm just saying it's not worthy right there to even be doing things like that. That's a that's a right. But I'm but I'm asking you, why do you think that people like him push that narrative that you know who did it? Uh, I don't know why he would say that. Uh, I wish he would tell it. Tell it to the world then. Tell me. Tell me. If I want to know. I would never never say it either though. I would never say it. Either. Nobody. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't know who did it. The darkness did it. I always said it. I wish I knew. Then I mean, he, I know who said it, right? Whole... DA already said that Joe's Joe was bragging about it, talking right. about he's, you know, he got me cut, whatever. But nobody, uh, you know, the hitting the hand behind uh, the darkness. Nah, nobody ever, you know, who did that one. Oh, wait, I don't know. So I don't know what he's. Then talking. he brings up the whole. I mean, he's trying, say it he's trying to say that I'm from a punk or something. Like I know who did it, right. and I ain't go get him. That's what he's trying to say. So. I mean, that's just the case. But we all know who slapped him with a cock three times, right? We put, we put, him there, we put the cock on, on trial. And we let everybody know that he did it. So he know who slapped him with a cock. You know, who knocked him out because he was taking a picture. Remember, over. You know what I'm saying? Like, his people knocked him but out. But he brings that up in, in the I'm in just going to tell you. That, that. They all know. Like, you all know who did that to him. Knocked him out under the bing. Uh, had him under the sink in Connecticut. We all know who did that, right? But I'm... You know, you know who slapped him with a cop? You know all of those three things about him. And he knows who did it. So, uh, you know, won't you just uh, send him that message? Because I really don't know who cut me in my face. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't. Uh, oh, well, whoever got hurt, I wish they had enough balls to come say it. Come out the closet, bitch. I wish you would. Right. I wish you would. So it's not like I'm over here trying to fake like, oh, I don't know who did it. I mean, I, I know who did it, but I'm acting like I don't know who did it. Like, who the fuck does that? Oh, yeah, bitch niggas. Lucky I'm not that. I've never been. So, that's the difference. And so then he, he also said that you internet thugging and you smoking bass, which is, I, I found really interesting that he would even try to take it there. Oh, nigga, are you still fucking listening to repeating what these niggas trying to say? No we all know he's a liar. Never did no hard drugs in my fucking life like that. Never. I don't have to keep saying that. You know what I'm saying? What about the time with DMX? That was an that accident, one, I took a fucking coolie high, yes. And that was my mistake. <laughs> that was my mistake. But yeah, I was like this. Yeah, that was, that was, that was an accident. I was smoking in a cage, right. nigga. I mean, like smoking in a cage. But I'm a virgin when it comes to fucking writing, like, like, like drugs like that. Nigga. It'd be weed and I'd be high as fuck making movies in my head. If you ever smoked a blunt with me, nigga, you see I'm fucking a, a fucking like a, a rookie. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, imagine well, all I drugs. I saw how crazy you were in L.A., remember? Yeah, that was, crazy that, that, was that, Cali, that was that Cali fucking <laughs> premium. Niggas gave me the free bag. Remember the free fucking? Uh, you had like four bags that were free. Yeah, they gave it to me. The, the, the shit, then we went outside, I smoked it. Nigga, I was in L.A. <laughs> I was, I was high like, as a yo, are you sure this is a good idea? You about to go on stage in like two hours? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Listen, man, I did that shit. I did that shit. I get high every time like that. Like, it's not like once in a blue. Because I'll take a little pose here and there, but I'll be always getting like, you know, like that, that, that dunce, the dunce look, the fucking I'm high shit. Like, oh shit, I'm high. Mm -hmm. Fuck. And I have to keep repeating, I'm high, y'all. Hello, guys. I'm high. Like, that's me. You know what guys. What Fucking mushrooms. I took one mushroom one time. Didn't do shit to me, but made me want to shit. Never did that again. <laughs> uh, I don't think I took the right amount. Uh, you know, did Molly one time too. That shit happened. Like, <laughs> it was tripping. Um, but you uh, just what? said, you just said that you never did any hard things, and now you're that's listening. That's not hard, every dope. That's time. not hard compared to coke, crack, dope, heroin. Right. That's yeah, hard. Yeah, and Molly is fucking to have fun. Fucking, this nigga fucking uh, Nori be on oh, Drink Jam talking about, I like Molly, I like Molly. <laughs> Molly's like a, a like a soft fucking shit compared to those drugs. I mean, it's still hard, you know, it's, it's, 
you know, getting lost in that. But Molly, fucking uh, E, ecstasy, that's like chilling out. You know what I'm saying? White boy land to me. I'll be around with white people. I, I might do that shit. I'll be like this, oh yeah, and enjoy myself. But as far as like being a fucking, yo, yo, give me that, yeah, give me that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Tony Sunshine, I got smack with a cock, give me a hit, baby, give me a blast. That's not me. That's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cope, All right, so last cope, question never did before cope we in my move life. on. Never did cope Last question life. before we Heroin. move on. No, fuck you. You're going to hear all my drug shits now that I went down the line, fucker. <laughs> all right. The heroin, the dope, all that shit. Never touched that shit. None of my thing. Fucking glue, whatever, ice, all that extra, the, the fentanyl, and all that. Get the fuck out of here with that. You know what I'm saying? That's crackhead shit. And that's what I'm saying. I, I, you know, when niggas say that, I just laugh because it's like, those are the niggas that really, they want to get something on me, but they just can't because the truth hurts them. You know? Just like your fucking panda face. All right. Last question, okay? <laughs> Will you respond to him on a diss oh, track? Oh, no. This is what this whole fucking 300,000 MC shit was about. The last <laughs> no, no. The, the last homo? The last, of, the last of the homeeking. So you, you're you not going to respond to him? I just responded to him. This is all he gets. Cock in the mouth. Right. Uh, my, 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 uh, my my assessment of what he did there as an artist was whack. Uh, I don't think he could even do better no more. And the, 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 late, the last project that I heard, the Spanish song he did was Pack too. So this thing is losing the, they, they, they losing the. Well, his, his album got pushed back too. They, they, they powdered, the powder, that the magical, the magical glitter powder. They, they, they lost it. They don't have it no more. You know what I'm especially him. And I thought, you know, always, always, always bragged about uh, not even brag, but I always saluted the fact, even though his enemies like he had a dope voice, he's a dope singer, and all of that. I just told y'all niggas he can't rhyme, and I told you he can't write. He's not yeah. a good writer. Never been. It was me and Pun behind the pen. It was you know other people behind the pen. And uh, but he is, he has a great voice. But if he doesn't have a leadership, he's not he want somebody lead, leaving him, uh, preparing him. Uh, you know he needs people. He needs people behind him. Can't stand alone. You know, and this is. An example, you know what I'm saying? Gets on the 200 other artists and he can't even seclude himself and, and shine on his own merit with his talent that he has, but he doesn't know how to apply it. He doesn't know how, know how to shine and be like, oh shit, you heard that Tony Sunshine? He just went along with the, with the, with the black ones. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, straight down. Like, All right, Q, let, let's move on now, uh, okay? Because you're getting upset. No, fuck you, nigga. You can't tell me to move when you want to move after you put me in. How did I do that? Th he was a part of the song. No. Okay, that's not my fault. I wanted to hear what you were going to say about all these other artists, these old school artists. Oh, yeah. Sure. Because you didn't stop at yeah, every I other did. artist. You only certain artists. Okay. I know if what I'm I saying. didn't stop it here, you, you think the fans would have been like, damn, Listen, I would, I would, I wanted to know what Cuban was going to But I got to address this, right? But I got to address this because, you know, obviously everybody and, you know, saying looks and sounds and walks like a baloney smoker. So. He's a baloney smoker, so he's talking about me, right? So everybody's thinking he's talking about me. Well, this is how I feel about it. As an artist, I feel that like he could have did. Not even he could have did. He, I only, I think he lost the fact that he could do anything uh, different than that. And that what he did was whack to me. As an artist, I rated an F. It was right. whack. Not because I'm a hater. Not because nothing. He did nothing special with me knowing his potential or what we all seen as fans from Tony Sunshine. Like what he did there was disappointing. And what he did in his own little solo Spanish shit that he started going Spanish lane, like I've been doing, you know, they follow the lead. Uh -uh. But it's okay. He's still disappointed. So, in other words, is that when he's been given us a, a, a chance to represent his talent to the fullest and really be out there as an artist that we all believe that he has the talent to do and become and surpass other people, he doesn't have the pizzazz, he doesn't have the monage a quoi, whatever the right. fuck that's called. Uh, you know, he doesn't have that it factor. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we all knew that from the beginning. And that's why we helped him, me and Pun. And that's why Joe saw in the beginning. He didn't have it. So Joe was right about him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he could definitely uh, do remakes. You know, he could take another guy's song and sing it beautifully like a nice little fucking, you know, uh, G.I. Jane. Uh, you know, dog, and then uh, act like he's his own song, but it's not really his own song. He's a replica. He's a carbon copy. He's uh, 
Maloney Pony. Well, the Spanish so, album got pushed back, as we know, because it was supposed to come out in the summer. Hey, nigga, he didn't get pushed back more than his face when that guy did him. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but uh, I mean, listen, it's, it's, they, they're not lying to him. Push it back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, never worry. Never worry. Twelve. You know, never comes out because uh, this is what's been going on in his career. That's why you see that he never dropped an album. Now we start seeing it. Because he never had that one single banger, and, you know, that uh, really put him out there or could gain any revenue for the actual uh, label he's... You know. And then the views so, went down when I exposed the fact that he was buying views, too, for that first single. So after that, he, he would... Uh, never, you know... Listen, he's a, he's a smoke screen. That's what he is. You know what I'm saying? Smoke screen. And it's sad, and, and, you know... Uh, you know, when you're somebody's friend or you still got, you clinging on to that relationship or whatever, even though, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, you still try to show love. And I did that through a lot of years. But now that I see it, when it's like, it's no no type of relations between me and him. And it's like, I see him as a regular artist, where it's like, even though I always seen him as a regular artist, and I recognize the talent, and I thought I could, one day, he could make that hit. You know what I'm saying? It brings him up to a, you know, the, the Frankie J's are, and then it should have been, he should have been. In that type of lane, and uh, you know, what I'm saying, uh, the Mark Anthony's like you know, what I'm saying in Spanish and, and things like that, you know, what I'm saying when you see him like that, when well, I saw him like that when he was, I was inside that circle and was trying to help him do that, but he would not take the you know, what I'm saying, take the instructions right. Uh, and when he did, you see how he paid off, you know, what I'm saying, uh, I put him in numerous songs that I showcase his talent, which hey, mama, still telling lies, uh, tell me what you want from me, those are all written by me, so you know, what I'm saying, uh, and coached by me inside the booth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we go back that deep. And then after that, what he has? All I know, all I need, I mean, I think, but with Joe, and that shit was not even impressive to me. It's a good beat and all that, but he so no talent there. So regular shit. He wasn't, he wasn't, uh, what I seen, a superstar that I envisioned, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know he could do. He just, uh, you know, some people, things happen for reasons, and this is what it is. This is, uh, this is the downfall. Singer. All right, let's move on, man. Yeah. Fuck you. How's that? It's the Lincoln Panda Show. Man, roll the clip. <laughs> 